Hey there, it's playtime, and this is gonna be a fun one. Um, I had from Misfits Market some rolled oats that I had bought. I wish they were steel cut, but they're not. I had some, I bought some chicken leg quarters, and I just cut the drumsticks off and made them into thighs, and some mushrooms. And today, my friend, a good friend of mine, his grandmother used to make oatmeal with chicken and mushrooms. And I never heard of that before. It's sort of like risotto, but it's made out of oatmeal. And he served it to me one time and I fell in love with it. And I've been wanting to make it for a while and I finally have all the ingredients on hand. So now we're gonna do it. We're gonna make chicken and mushroom savory oatmeal. And it's gonna be real good. And here we go. While our oil heats up, we're gonna season these chicken thighs with some salt and pepper. on both sides. And then we're gonna sear them until they're nicely browned. And then we're gonna build the oatmeal part. They're gonna be so good. This is about two tablespoons of canola oil. I forgot to mention that probably. And it's getting, as you might or might not be able to see, nice and shimmery. In go our thighs. Skin side down to make that skin nice and long. Three. And three. We are cooking up nicely. You can see it's starting to look cooked around the edges here. And our skin is nicely brown. And when the skin lifts away, with no resistance from the oil. That means that they're done and ready to be turned. And we're gonna cook these sides about three quarters of the way through. And then remove them to a pan while we make our oatmeal. And there we go. Probably about eight to 10 minutes on each side. Our chicken thighs have reached an internal temperature of 145 degrees. And done for chicken is 165, but we're gonna cook these a little longer at the end, so. And they're gonna to continue to cook a little bit while they're sitting on the plate. The little ones came out first, and here comes the big one. And we're gonna set those aside and continue on. The first thing I'm gonna do before we do is to loosen up these brown bits on the bottom of this pan by deglazing the, this with a little bit of chicken stock, just a little. Take Ooh, and the maize is coming up, so we're going to add some nice flavor to our dish. I have turned the heat down, obviously, and the first thing that's going to go in is about a half of a diced onion, pretty finely diced. Stir that around in our oil. Season it up with some salt and pepper. And because there are mushrooms, I love tarragon with mushrooms, so in that goes. And because it's chicken, a little bit of time. Pretty soon the fresh herbs will be here, so that'll be fun. I'm ramping up my garden this year. So we're gonna let these soften for a little while, and then we're gonna keep moving on. Our onions have softened up nicely, and those brown bits are so Super brown. Now it's time for some sliced up baby Bella mushrooms. Add those in, cook them up. I'll lower the heat just a little bit. Okay, these are starting to cook up and they're gonna be cooking for a while when we do our oatmeal. At this time, we're going to add in a little bit of garlic. Stir that in. Cook that down for one or two minutes to fragrant. 
Now it's time for our oats. This is about a cup of rolled oats. Incorporate the onions, and mushrooms, and garlic into those oats. Stir them around so they start to brown a little bit. The technique I'm using today is similar to the technique that you use to cook risotto. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some chicken stock. Stir it around. And we're going to cook that down until all of the stock has been absorbed. The oatmeal directions say to cook this over medium heat for three to five minutes. So I've increased the heat back to medium. And we'll go back in with a little more stock when the stock is absorbed. It is now time for our next round of chicken stock. In we go. We're going to finish up with the third round. We're going to add our chicken back in. Uh, a more. And we're going to keep cooking this up until the oatmeal is getting cooked. Our next round of stock is absorbed. And the next thing we're going to do is I found this mixture of baby spinach and baby arugula and to add a little color and a little springiness, in we go. Along with the rest of our chicken stock. That, by the way, was about three cups total. At this time, our Chicken thighs are going back in. We're just going to lay them on top. Along with any accumulated juices that were on the plate. And the rest, Kelly gets to lick. I'm going to turn the heat down on this a little bit and put a cover on it. And let it simmer till everything's up to temp and cooked through and nice and creamy. I thought this was going to work a little differently and it is working but it's going to work better if we stir this oatmeal and so therefore I'm going to pick up a chicken give it a stir pick up a chicken give it a stir whoops drop the chicken back in pick up the chicken give it a stir I don't want it sticking to the bottom but as you can see, it's thickening up nicely and we are just about done. Our chicken breasts have temped up to 165 and our oatmeal is still a little bit soupy, but I'm gonna continue cooking it for a few minutes with the cover off. And that will let some of the liquid evaporate and absorb and then we'll be a little thicker and a little creamier. And it's gonna be so tasty. We have finally reached the point of savory oatmeal creaminess. And there's what it looks like up close. And chicken's setting on top. And now we're gonna serve it up and love it. Here is our savory chicken and mushroom oatmeal. And it looks delicious. The texture is so creamy and so smooth. And what I think I'd like to do is sprinkle it with a little bit of grated parm. And there's what that looks like. And it's gonna be so yummy. Thank you for joining me while I made risotto out of oatmeal for the first time. I've made risotto out of barley. I've made it out of couscous, you know, regular rice and all kinds of different things over the, over the years. And this time we have oatmeal and it's so savory and so creamy and it's gonna be a delicious dinner, and it was really fun to play with, and I gotta thank my friend John for the idea. And Flatbread Friday's coming up, we'll see you soon.